Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we will discuss how to install Ubuntu in VirtualBox on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. Let me tell you that if you want to install Ubuntu operating system on Windows system, then you have to use VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a tool that helps you to create a virtual machine and using that virtual machine, you can install different operating system like Ubuntu. If you want to install Ubuntu operating system in your Windows 11, then you have to install VirtualBox. To install VirtualBox, simply open any browser and search for VirtualBox and open the link from virtualbox.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. This is the official website from where you can download the latest version of VirtualBox. Currently, VirtualBox 7 is the latest version. Now to download, simply click on this download button and here you will find your download link. For Windows operating system, simply select Windows host and it will download the installer file which is around 106 MB. So let me complete the download process. After that, I'll show you how you can install VirtualBox on Windows 11. Here you can see the download has been completed. Simply open the installer file. So here we have our setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here click on next button and here click on next. If you get warning about network interface, don't worry. Simply click on yes button and here click on yes. After that, simply click on install button and here you can see it is installing VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. So wait for the installation process to complete. Once the installation is complete, simply click on this finish button. And here you will find your VirtualBox. If you don't get VirtualBox window, you can simply use the search option. Here on the search option, search for VirtualBox and open the application. Now you can use this tool to create virtual machine. So before that, let us download the Ubuntu ISO file. For that, simply open any browser and search for Ubuntu ISO. Then open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the download link. I'll provide the download link in the description box. And here you will find download link for Ubuntu desktop. Simply download the latest LTS version. Currently Ubuntu 22.04.4 is the latest version. So simply click on this download link and it will download an ISO file which is around 4.7 GB. So let me complete the download. Once you have successfully downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file, simply close your browser and open VirtualBox and here click on new and here name your VirtualBox. Let me name it as Ubuntu and from the ISO image drop down menu, simply select your ISO file. Visit to the download location and select the ISO file, then click on open button. After that, simply click on next and here you will find the option to create username and password. So let us create our username. Once done, also check this box guest additions, then click on next button. And here you have to configure your virtual machine hardware. To configure the hardware, simply refer to your system hardware specification. As I have 16 GB of RAM on my system, so I can allocate 4 GB. As this will not affect my primary operating system that is Windows 11. And I have 6 core CPU, I'll simply allocate 2 core to my virtual machine. Then click on next button. And now you have to create virtual hard disk. For that simply click on create a virtual hard disk now. And here you have to allocate minimum of 25 GB. So I'll simply allocate 25 GB and click on next button. Now to install, simply click on this finish button and here you will find your virtual machine hardware specification. If you're not able to run this virtual machine or if you think this hardware specification is not enough for your virtual machine, then you can also change this specification later on. For that, simply select your virtual machine name, click on settings and here you will find all your information. Here you will find your system information such as motherboard, processor, acceleration. Also you can change display, storage and other settings. 
After you have configured your hardware specification, simply click on this start button. Here I have my virtual machine. I will simply minimize the virtual box. And here you will find your Ubuntu boot window. After that, it will install Ubuntu operating system in your virtual machine. So the installation process might take 10 to 15 minutes. Wait for the installation process to complete. Once the installation is completed, it will simply reboot your system. Now here, simply select your username and enter your password. If you get connect your online account, simply click on skip button. Also, if you get option to upgrade to Ubuntu Pro, simply select skip for now and click on next. And here click on next. So here we have our Ubuntu operating system in virtual box. Now you can use it on your system. However, if you are getting screen resolution related issue, then simply click on this show app icon, open settings. Here, simply select display option and from the resolution drop down menu, select your preferred resolution. Then click on apply button. So that's it. This is how you can install Ubuntu in VirtualBox on Windows 11. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.